Assalamualaikum and good afternoon. My name is Nurhidah binti Nordin and my metric number is 270026. Today, I will present about 5 elements of quality service in hospitality operation. Next, in introduction. Operational management in tourism and hospitality refers to job performed in various areas of the hospitality industry. There are many types of jobs in the hospitality industry such as hotel, resort, restaurant, catering and also at the hospitality position that deal with the tourists generally referring to hospitality. As we know, the hospitality industry is involved in the process of relationship between hotels and guests. So, it is important to be friendly to the guests by giving them the best quality of service to meet their needs. Therefore, the service quality is very important in the hospitality industry because it meets the need of the customers and can satisfy them. In addition, it also helps the organization become more organized and systematic and with this, they will be better to prepare their employees and train them to practice the best service quality throughout their works. Apart from that, there are many advantages that can be obtained through the quality of service and among them are able to create customer satisfaction, develop customer loyalty, contribute to the image of the business and also can provide a competitive advantage in the business as well. What is service quality? Service quality is defined as the comparison of customer expectation of service as it relates to the company performance. In addition, businesses with high quality of service are likely to be able to meet the needs and wants of their customers. And not only that, they are also able to remain economically competitive in their respective industries. In other words, service quality is also referred to as the extent to which a service is able to meet a customer need or expectation or conceptualize it as the overall effect of the customer with respect to the weakness of strength of the service. However, the service quality is defined as what is entered by the provider. Thus, service quality can be seen as a gap between the expected service and the actual perceived service. Component of quality service or known as service quality dimension is a set of five dimensions that have been consistently used toward the customers to be the most important for service quality. The five elements of quality service are tangibles, reliability, responsiveness, assurance, and empathy. These service quality dimensions are used to measure the gap between customers' expectation for excellence and their perception of the actual service delivered. Apart from that, it is also used to identify specific service elements that need an improvement and also targeting training opportunities for service staff. The GAP model helps to identify five key discrepancies that can influence the customer evaluation of the service quality. Besides, when the, when the GAP are large, the service quality is low. As the GAP shrinks, the service quality will improve. The first one is tangibles. Tangibles represent the physical appearance of the physical service facilities, employees' appearance, equipment machine, the organization information system, and also all the tangible elements of the service provider facility or surrounding. An example of tangible is the organization keep maintaining the cleanliness of the environment and staff uniform. Besides, as we know, Cleanliness is very important in daily life as well. This is because cleanliness can symbolize someone's personality and also help to make a good impression on others. In addition, a clean appearance and environment can make it easier for a person to work in a calm state and easy to interact with the others. Next, the aspect of cleanliness is very important for a business whether it is small business or a large one. This is because it can influence the customer's view of the business surrounding as well as the hotel operation. Next is reliability. Reliability is one of the most important dimensions in service quality. It is also used to verify the ability to provide services accurately on time and reliably. 
Moreover, consistency is a very important factor in providing assistance or goods to the customers at the right time without any problems. Therefore, the organization needs to ensure that the employee give their best commitment in providing or offering their services on time as promised to the customer. An example of reliability is the organization send the letter to their customer on a daily and timely basis. Furthermore, the ability to provide the services accurately, consistently, and on time without any problem becomes a contributor to why the customer wants to come or use the service again. This type of dimension or aspect can also be used in the hospitality sectors such as the hotel. If the hotel employees at the hotel give the best customer service to the customer, they will feel happy and satisfied and want to come again for another time. Therefore, the hotel should train and always remind them to provide assistance to the customer when they need it. Apart from that, the facilities and the equipment is also part of the reliable service that should be focused on. For example, the hotel front desk receptionist welcoming the guests, open their arrival and assign room to check in and check out the guests, managing online and phone reservation and respond to client complaints in a timely and professional manner. The third one is responsiveness. Responsiveness refers to the diligent act to help the customer with respect and also provide them with prompt service to meet their needs and wants. Besides, responsiveness focuses on two important factors which are willingness and promptness. Next, this type of dimension will be determined by the length of time the customer has to wait for an answer or solution. In other words, this type of dimension is used to solve the customer problem as quickly as possible by providing them as better information or replacing the product. An example of responsiveness is the speed of helping the customer online or by the telephone. Another example is the employee never keep the customer in waiting cereal and replaces the product as soon as possible before finishing the promise periods. Other than that, for the hospitality industry, such as the hospitality sector, the employees must always be sensitive and focused to their environment and ready in providing services to the guests accurately and efficiently. For example, the front desk receptionist is always ready to answer all questions or requests made by the customer in person or online. This thing is very important to let the customer feel that the employees is responsive to their requests and questions. By doing this, they will feel satisfied and their sense of self is taken seriously. Next is assurance. Assurance is defined as developing operational control to ensure that the result match the desired outcomes. It also can be defined as the knowledge and the courtesy of an employee as well as their ability to inspire trust and confidence. Therefore, these skills can help the organization to gain the customer's trust and loyalty. An example of assurance dimension is the excellent service that made by the employee by showing respect and being polite to the customer. Assurance is very important in the hospitality industry, especially in the hotel sector. This is because the hotel accepts customers regardless of their age, gender, race, religion on a daily basis. Therefore, the hotel employees need to have good manners and skill to understand customers and able to help them if they encounter any problem. Among the skill is communication skill. This is because having a good communication skill can give them confidence to solve problems faced by the customer wisely. By doing this, customer will feel satisfied and happy with the service provided by the hotel employee. Lastly, superior needs to provide training to the employee so that they can face, can face any situation calmly and confidently. Good behavior and attitude contribute to a quality level of hospitality and services. Next, empathy. Empathy refers to the ability to understand the feeling of another. It is the act of putting yourself in others' shoes and seeing their problem from their point of view. In service quality, empathy means to focus on the customer will full attention to ensure that caring and discriminating treatment. This type of dimension is really important and need to serve each customer individually. 
Empathy is also an excellent process in dealing with and satisfying customers through psychological and can increase the trust, confidence, and loyalty of the customers. Therefore, a company or an organization needs to ensure that each of its employees has an empathetic attitude so that they are prepared to listen to any complaints or problems faced by the customer. An example of empathy dimension is the employee act as an active listener when the customer is speaking and able to recognize the regular customer by their name. In conclusion, the hospitality industry needs to be more focused on improving their services to meet the needs and wants of their own customers. This is include by paying more attention to train the employees to be more skilled in terms of serving and providing the best service to the customers so the customer will always feel welcoming and satisfied with the services provided. With a good service quality can prepare the organization, company or the hotel sectors to compete with other in the marketplace smoothly. That's all from me. Thank you.